with a high walled saucepan of some kind or uh, preferably a Dutch oven is what I go for myself. I want to add some olive oil, get it to a nice heat and then we chuck in our shin of beef and we want to get a really nice colour on the beef. Fry it off till it's deep and golden brown, nice bit of caramel on there and you'll see it releases loads of fat and juice into the pan and that we want to leave because that we're going to roast off our vegetables in the carrot, the celery, the onion, the garlic so the beef is getting nice and browned getting a nice bit of flavour on there take that out of the pan now but we do want to leave in all those juices and all that fat just reduce down the fat and the juices just a little touch intensify the flavor and just remove a little bit of the water before we add our vegetables starting with the carrot and the celery soften them up a little bit and then we go in with our onion season this generously fairly generously with salt and pepper stir that through we really want to roast it off nicely get out all the moisture we want to get a nice deep golden brown on all those vegetables nicely roasted off then we go back in with the shin of beef with all the juices give that a little stir through then we add our ale just above the level of the the meat and the vegetable but then we want to reduce that down and simmer that off a little bit get rid of all the alcohol give it a bit of a stir and then we add our nice, rich beef stock. Maybe a little bit of extra water. It's going to be in the oven for about three or four hours. Then we go in with our aromatics, our thyme, our rosemary and our bay leaf. And we just let that simmer away on the hob for a little while. Give it a good 20 minutes or so. And in this time we get our oven up to a good 140, 140 to 150. And we pop in our beef and that sits there in the oven for about three and a half, four hours. Keep adding little bits of stock, little bits of water here and there if you need to. serve we want it finished nice and reduced rich deep flavors it's incredible best served with mashed potatoes and if you want to know how to make incredible Maris Piper mashed potatoes that go amazingly well with this dish check out my other video Maris Piper mashed potatoes the two complement each other incredibly well that's my beef and ale stew using a lovely shin of beef a very underused and underrated cut so see your butcher get it diced up stick it in a stew and I'll see you next time